Okay, I kind of like ditch the anchors and manage my own to the stage because I mean you have seen already a couple of great performances and there are a lot more to come by like more dance, the drama and beautiful Bangladeshi song and a lot more. But I was too impatient to see your performances. So now this time it's your time to perform because we want, to, we want to celebrate this day together, irrespective of culture, race, country, and any border. So, for this, I need six extraordinarily talented persons from this gathering. And I will ask six questions, and to participate in these questions, you have to be uh, qualified, you have to have only, only one qualification that you have to be. Uh, non-Bangladeshi. So it's the performance from the internationals. And I will ask six questions or, uh, to uh, about Bangladesh and I will find the lucky six one and they will come to join in the next round of the game. So I'll, uh, uh, I will uh, go to the first quiz. So how much do you know about Bangladesh? So let's see who can spot the national flag of Bangladesh. So can I see the option number one? One. Number two. What is this flag? Number three. Winter is coming. And how about number four? Yeah. Anyone? Four. I can see. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, yeah, come ahead. Yeah, you're the guy with the blue shirt, I guess. All the lights on, please. Okay, come here. And which one is the answer? Four. Are you sure? Let's see the answer, please. The National Flag of Bangladesh. Yeah, you are right. Yes. Okay. And your name and who are you? Louis from Germany. Okay, that's cool. Okay, we got Luis right here. And now for the next questions. Next slide, please. <laughs> okay, now I'll play a video and the question comes afterwards. So let's see the video first. It is the largest fruit to grow on a tree in the world. The rep bud, we're now going to open it up. So the way you want to do it is just put that straight down the middle. All the way down the center like this. It's very just have to be Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that actually cut really well. Just slice. Oh. Okay, this will be an edible part. You want to try some? Yeah. After peeling it and putting it in a bowl, this is sort of what it looks like. It kind of looks like. Uh, yeah, like little mini peppers almost. It's like yellow onions cut up. More like an artichoke would look. Oh. It's oddly sweet, but also kind of rank. It looks like it'd be pretty good, to be honest. So, try it out. It's really sweet. It's kind of like a gummy bear, sort of. <laughs> if you're into high chews, it tastes like a high chew. The consistency is just different. It's like tangy, but also thick and also sweet. There's not as much of like a flavor explosion that you get with a, a pineapple because it's just not that juicy. You might have some more. It tastes more like a vegetable than a fruit. It's like a pineapple meets a sweet potato, <laughs> which is insane. Okay, the fruit they are talking about, that is a national fruit of Bangladesh. So, now, the question is, what is the name of the food? I know it's a tough question, name, right? Let's see that option first. Okay, first one. Okay, the two comes together. Dragon food or Ramadan. Anyone for that? I don't see anyone. Third one. So, tomato. Okay, and how about the fourth one? Jackfruit. I can see this lady. He was like, 
His hand was raised from the very beginning of the video. Can you come by? Is it? Sure. Let's see. Okay. This is jackfruit. As you can see, it's a, uh, yeah, come over. It's a medium-sized jackfruit. You can see from the left side picture and the right-hand side picture is a typical village hut where they sell uh, the jackfruit in bulk. So, yeah, come on in. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Shorts. It's so easy. Use laundry as a handbag or as a 
precisely the bed. Ever needed to change clothes in public? Now you can. Use it as a beach blanket. Don't have a chair? Lean back in your laundry. Hide from the sun. Hide from your wife. Peekaboo, I see you. Roll it up for instant lower back support. It's perfect for picking up chicks. It even picks up guys. The possibilities are endless. Say goodbye to sweaty balls. Order your laundry bug function today. Okay, um, the male word that you see, uh, just saw, uh, it is a very traditional male word uh, from our region, and they call it here is longia, but it somehow, I mean, it's called different in our country. So, uh, you have to guess that what is the name of this male word in our language. So, can I see the uh, options? Okay. <laughs> Or how I shard, three is lungi, and four, shai. Anyway, I reach. I can see that. Okay, I can see another kid here. Come, yeah, come on over. Go this way. Do you know what it's called? how attentively you were enjoying our program. So, when is International Mother Language Day celebrated? And options. 23rd February, today. Yes, we are, I mean, our program event is today. And then 21st February. The next options. 1st of February. Anyone? Okay. And the fourth one. 29th February. Anyone? Yeah, yeah. I don't see that much of hand. People, uh, not that much. Keep, keep, keep. Okay. <laughs> Come on over. Here that I'll need one uh, volunteer from 
my side and uh, uh, come on over. So, okay. This is Iqbal and he is a very good cricket player and he is an integral part of our cricket team, not our national cricket team, but our, I mean, the uh, Bangladeshi students here at USC. Okay, so now you people will play our game. Okay, so yeah, so uh, because uh, uh, we like to enjoy as much as possible, so will you play our game to just have some snack of it? So uh, this is called a picket bat. So I'll go from you, it's fine. And you will go with you. And you have to hit it. Yeah. Oh. So let me show you. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you have to go. Don't hit it too hard. It's not too hard. Oh, okay, okay. The ball is very soft. I think that will not hurt anyone. Oops. Okay. Do you want to try another? Okay. Oh! Nice shot, nice shot. Thank you. Now, okay. Another day. Second one, test.